Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Tuesday, December the 12th. I want to start first of all with Meredith Lehman, who is the Child Life Program Coordinator at MU Healthcare Children's Hospital. Welcome, Meredith. Thank you so much. Uh, what you're doing is really very special, and I want you to share that with the audience. Yeah, well, I'm here today to talk about a few of our programs that we have that we engage the community with. One of the programs is called Beads of Courage, and it's a program where kids with chronic illnesses um, have the opportunity to receive special beads for all the different things that they go through in the hospital. Yeah, and they those little kids who are going have a chronic illness and have to go through this really show a lot of courage, a lot more courage than many of us big folks do Absolutely. when we go through some kind of procedure. Yeah, it's a way for them to share with their schoolmates and their family about what they go through at the hospital. So each one of these beads is for a specific procedure or a special hurdle that they had to go through at the hospital. And this is just an example of what one looks like, but most of our kids with chronic illnesses are in and out of the hospital a lot. And so they have strings and strings and strings of, of beads. these beads. That Absolutely. They can wear as necklaces or they can give them to friends yes. as a gift and say, hey, this is what I this is what I had to go through and it's take time to explain it. That's right. It gives yeah. them a way to talk about it. They also hang it on their IV poles, poles sometimes. Okay. On, on the IV poles. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Now here's another. I'm for listening on the radio. Explain what this is. It looks All like right. a, a piece of artwork. It is a piece of artwork. It is a canvas where it's called Caleb's Pitch is the program, and this is where our MU athletes come into the hospital once or twice a month and they actually do this artwork with the kids. They fill up tons of syringes with paint and allow the kids to make this beautiful artwork. So they get to squirt the paint on the canvas, they get to choose their colors, and they get to use the syringes in a way that is um, a little bit more positive. They get mm -hmm. to do it and have fun with it versus the, those things happening to them. Yeah. When you're working with the kids in the hospital, yeah, you, you work with them personally from time to time. Yeah, yeah. How do you deal with a young child who is really sick mm. um, and it, it's almost as if childhood is being taken away from them at this point. How yeah. do you deal with that? You personally? know, it's hard to see. It's hard to see anyone in pain, but much less a child because children are not supposed to be sick and they're not supposed to be in the hospital. They're supposed to be playing. And I think one of the things that um, child life specialists in the hospital, our goal is to in, engage them in play and give them that opportunity to play. Um, and that really helps them cope with being in the hospital. So just giving that opportunity to do a five minute activity that puts a smile on their face, mm -hmm. it's really um, an amazing thing for them to be able to let them see that they can still play and have some fun even though they're in the hospital. Do you have pet therapy with the kids also? We do, and we I'm, do. And I would imagine that that brings smiles. Oh, it's amazing. And that's an area we would love to expand. We would love to get some more um, dogs that are specifically trained to do pet therapy because we don't have a lot right now and so we would love to have more. The kids just l miss their dogs being at home so this is yeah. a way for them to engage. Do you allow them to bring their, to have their dogs come up on the floor? On special occasions we do. We have a certain paperwork and things that have to be done through the yeah. vet and stuff. I, and, and I think that that's a wonderful way to advance healing too. Absolutely. Animals if, are amazing. If people want more information, what can they do? Yeah, they can give me a call. Um, my number is 573-771-4264. And are you looking for volunteers to, to help out from time to time? We do take volunteers. There's um, a volunteer vetting program that they have to go through and okay. commit to doing so many hours. Um, but yeah, we have volunteers on the floor that help us in the playroom and okay. help engage the kids in play. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And Merry Christmas, Julia. Oh, thanks.